children. So it's that they give kids. Because the next this Sunday, the youngest Sunday, you get up to church to my church every so I don't have time for children on Sunday. And probably I can even go for the evening service. So Saturday and I got it has been years and it has been the way I do things. So that Saturday, the Chinese come for a for so there is a Saturday prayed, and I was like, okay, I'll leave church and then go home. And we may work out, we'll be watching football, watch football at home, love football, watch football at home, watch kids, just enjoy home. That is how my Saturday would go. And then I was getting out of the church like this at around two. And then the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, you know, I am, you have been speaking all these hours and I haven't spoken to you and you're only going out. I said, ha, now that's a trick. Mukama So I entered the very the church and what was, I thought it was just one week, it became like four months and I could not go back home on Saturday. I would just pray through then, but there is a place I want to take you. And Nemo Musai, you are from the car, and she told me, Saturday, and I was like, ah, my But then, the Holy Spirit just spoke to Yuko because even with this, just go. When I came here, I sat over there. I was just observing Kurama, what is going on here and what is happening and the fellowship. And to make, to, to make, to summarize it all from that time up to now, <laughs> this has become my place for Saturday. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, I just want to thank God for Bishop Ibutria for trusting us. I don't know what is going on, but I think just one or two weeks after we met, I was following him everywhere where he was going to preach, and I was interpreting him. <laughs> and also, the opportunities he has given me to stand before wonderful, precious people in this, in this wonderful congregation. I don't take it for granted. Uh, most people here are ministers. Bakshoba, Bishop 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 Pastor Don't take that for granted. So I want to thank God that the past six months of my life since I came here, there are a lot of things have changed. A lot of things have changed. My personally, my life has changed. Because now, even my contacts also change. Now you are all my contacts. <laughs> all of you here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's the first thing. And you may take it for granted. Praise the Lord. But when you are, when you know that there are people I can call and they are praying for me and they are prayerful people, your life is secure. Praise the Lord. So I want to, first of all, the testimony is I got a family here. Praise the Lord. Then, my wife has not been here yet. I'm planning to bring her here. But she's like, I think that place is amazing. Because she knows me, I don't really mean to visit so many places. Amen. I've been in a church where I have, I entered one church and I've been serving there for 18 years. I haven't known any other place. That's the church where I go. Praise the Lord. So coming here, it had to break a little bit of my pride. Morris mm -hmm. knows me that I'm, I'm not this guy who moves everywhere. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Just to keep the heritage of what God has entrusted to me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But I want to thank Bishop. Now, when I started interpreting Bishop, do you know how many people are calling me to interpret? <laughs> <laughs> so many. But I want to tell you one of my recent uh, miracles that happened to me. I love, I love preaching. I love, let me tell you, when you give me a miracle like this, I'm going to be sure to 
I don't like I don't like to take the microphone down from my hands. I love when the microphone will be a little more. Praise the Lord. So for the 18 years I've been preaching, I just love talking to people. Because I've seen people's lives change. Amen. 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 When God uses you like the way he has used us, I don't know about you, but at least I know him and me. We saw miracles when we were very young. We tested everything. We did everything and we were very young. I write all my messages. And I and make no mistake, I write every good message that I hear. I hear everywhere. So I have Bishop's messages. But there are messages I visit 18 years ago and I'm like never not again. <laughs> but what is so funny is that you meet people that their lives were changed. So I picked a principle from it that you can be sincerely wrong and still affect the lives. If you are sincere, in the spirit, I am sincere, I want you to get healed. I don't have to know much. So we, we laid hands on people, we saw legs grow, people getting out of wheelchairs and you know, because we have we have an, a, a miracle center DNA in us. We just believe in miracles. Some people stumble on us, but we, we eat by a miracle. We get transported by a miracle. We sleep on a miracle. We just marry because of miracles. We, like everything on us is miracle. So when you come around us, or you don't know Christian or whatever, and you find out you're not a child, you get up and you put it in the air, and you pull it out. But get up, you come and you ask. But you will excuse me. That's where I come from. That's what I know. You come and you ask. But to cut the story short, last week I had an opportunity to interview Daniel Kolela. Daniel Kolenda was here in the last time he was here. Nalimulens, he told me, Nagena Murukumana, Noruna Kuriba. Daniel Kolenda, Maftago, Twara, where is our book? Bagam Yakua. I was there, Pastor Mijimoka to Wagner Church. I was there, Bonke Najapo, a courty, Najimu Ambaza, Naga Uru, one of the people in Uganda, again, who put the big area, and if I die. So, but in those days I was standing this way because there were so many people. As you know, Rain had gone through crusades, very many people. So I spoke this way I was admiring a man at the I really don't want to for that. Because the guy preached for two days and miracles were everywhere. And he was in his, I think, early 20s. I think he was just going to make 30 or something. Because he's still a young man, even up to now. When they called me first time, I didn't okay, I took it serious, but I you know how church politics sometimes works. <laughs> when I were organizing this want me to be there. But I remember I came here one day and I knelt down here and I started praying and I was leading the prayer. And God spoke to me and said, You just be ready. Amen. I'm going to take you there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I kept believing. So we went for, people went for trials. They didn't call me. People did things. They didn't, I wasn't invited. So on the last time, like a week, two, that is when I got a phone call and there was an overnight with one of the directors of. Sifan. So I went and interpreted him. So he said, I think we have been looking for the wrong people. They have been giving us the wrong people. We just have the right guy over here. Amen. So I want to thank God that when Ray, when 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 Koleda came, Koleda I know pretty. I go with a Dalaba because it's too much. They had to look for another interpreter. The whole thing they had lined up for Nanga Gama, mm, that one is not, that one is not okay. I'm not feeling the flow. This one, I'm not a you. So I want to thank God that when I stepped on the pulpit with him, 
I actually got into the year. Yeah. And he said, he told even the other guys who were going to quit the following days, I think that one has to be interpreted number one for this crusade. I just want to thank God. I don't take it for granted. I have known most of the powerful preachers that I know, good teachers, have been interpreters before. Actually, from where I come from, the Bishop of the Fraternity, where I come from, the Miracle Center, was an interpreter to the Praise the Lord. The church up here, the man who is the owner of the church up here, the pastor, was an interpreter to Pastor Robert. So is Pastor Kamesi. So is. I, 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 I've seen powerful. But one of the things I love about this gift of interpreting is that you get to hear the message first time. And make no mistake, you cannot be a good interpreter and not a good preacher. Because that, the way you understand the message and you say it in the language, it sticks there. The words stay there. I can give you, I can repeat Bishop's messages like I go and the one who preached them. Because it stays. And God has given me a mind. It's a woman by the Bishop Oliver Kamo. When you write on my mind, something sticks. One day I went into a high school and I started teaching chemistry to kids of senior one and senior two. But I haven't been in a chemistry class, I don't know how many years. That was 2001 and two. That's when I was in senior one and two. I tell you, I know this is a you have just put it on the cup of my head. So I want to thank God, Bishop. Thank you so much for the opportunity. But I'm going to be Even right now, I'm actually running for a crusade. <laughs> From here, I'm going for a crusade in Nongudia. The, the, the Reinhard Monkey Ministry is still doing a crusade in Nongudia. And I have to be there. It's, it ends tomorrow. But I thank God for the miracles I saw, the things I learned. And I told Bishop, we need to sit down and, because some things we just, you just have to be so good at details so that you put there a system how things work and then the anointing of God will flow and there's no confusion. <laughs> Those guys are very, let me tell you, let me give you this and then I leave. Those guys are very particular that when you're going to interpret the man of God, they expect you to reach there two hours before. No, they expect you actually to reach there three hours before. So they give you one hour to talk to your friends, the people that you know, but two hours to go into the pulpit, they don't allow you to talk to anybody. So they put, they put you in a certain place, isolated tent. They put their buchai and they tell you so. You choose which coffee you take. You need to warm up your voice. Uh, you have to. Or if you know, Kogaya, you come in because you will talk to the man of God. I was like, I can't call it <laughs> Praise God. And then you have to take a certain chocolate for your glucose in your mind and then pray and then you sit you sit through the message the scriptures they, they will tell you okay this is how do you i'm going to use this idiom how do you translate it does it offend people in your country if i say this will people get offended <laughs> then they tell you at a certain point i'm going to speak certain things and they are going to be very annoying and i want you to interpret word by word <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. So it was a lesson even to me as a translator, but I want to thank God for your prayers. I want to thank God for my life. Bishop, my life has changed. Amen. My wife is the one who pushes me to come here all the time because she can testify that even Omar has changed. <laughs> <laughs>